Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn about a generic function with two generic types. So in the previous tutorials on the generic functions, you know, we have learned how to create a generic function with only one generic type. And you know, when we use only one generic type, you know, at that time, and if our parameter of the generic function are gonna be of the same generic type you know at that time you know the parameters that we gonna pass to that generic function must be of same type you know it doesn't matter whether it's int float char or string you know it should be of same type so here in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to create a generic function you know which is gonna take two generic types so here first we're gonna define it so first we need to write the keyword template and then less than symbol and greater than symbol and between that less than and greater than symbol we need to write the keyword type name or class you know i'm gonna write type name and let's name the identifier as t1 and then we're gonna have another identifier and that's why i'm gonna add a comma here and then i'm gonna write type name again and i'm gonna write and we're gonna name another identifier let's say t2 and now you know we're gonna write the return type of our function you know here for the demonstration purpose our function is not gonna return any value so it's gonna be void and then the function name let's call it as display and uh, here you know this display function is gonna take two parameters of type 1 and type 2 so it's gonna be t1 you know the first identifier and the variable name let's say x and then t2 you know the second identifier or the second type and the variable name let's say y so here inside this display function you know we're just gonna print out the values of this ex and y and that's why i'm gonna use c out and i'm gonna use x and i'm gonna insert and and i just gonna use y and let's end this line so here you know this display function is taking two parameters and these two parameters of different generic type and also here you know we have uh, defined two generic types you know t1 and t2 separated by comma all right now in our main function you know we're going to use this display function and before that we need to write the function prototype that's why i'm going to copy this and paste it here before my main function and I'm gonna add a semicolon alright now in our main function I'm gonna call the display function and we need to pass two parameters and that two parameters can be of different types you know we can pass one integer value another one string value or we can pass the both parameters as the same type so first I'm gonna pass anil and then I'm gonna pass 24 you know these two are different types this is possible because you know here this display function takes two parameters of different generic types and when we compile this code the C++ will come to know that you know this display function is taking the first parameter you know which is of type string and then the second parameter which is of type integer you know when this statement is encountered and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it again and I can pass let's say 24 integer value and 65.89 floating point value and again I can pass I'm gonna copy this and paste it here and I'm gonna pass two integer values and uh, again paste it and I'm gonna pass two floating point values you know similarly we can pass two string values also so here you know I just gonna say Anil and um, let's say Anjali and now I'm gonna build and run this and now you guys can see Anil and 24 24 and 65.89 24 and 65 24.36 and 65.89 and Anil and Anjali so here you know this generic function display is taking two parameters and these two parameters are of different generic types and that's why we are able to pass two parameters of different types you know if we had defined only one generic type 
and you know if we have used any standard data type here such as int or float at that time you know when we use that function the second parameter must be of the type that we specify here but here you know when we use different generic types for you know the parameters you know we can pass different types of values so this is it guys this is about a generic function with two generic types and similarly you know we can create functions with multiple generic types so this is it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page and stay updated with the latest videos that we're gonna make and i'll see you in the next tutorial